the answer is it need not be because it can be possible that you can have more categories in cat dot categories in this variable there can be many other categories also that are not actually part of the data but cat dot unique will always give you only the unique values that is always present in that data right if there is no other extra categories if there are no other redundant categories present inside this inside this variable then in that case the result of both of these commands will be the same all right now how about series if you create a series and you set the d type as a category you can access the categorical attributes of that series inside that series name the variable name dot cat and then categories right here this under this object all the category related attributes are stored now to add a new category you have a special method called add categories right here you, let's run this code let's create the series this is a categorical series the categories of this series can be seen here right if you want to create or add a new category to this list of categories you can use this add categories method and get that now you have added a new category called missing but that is not actually part of this data now we have an unused category in this list right this is a redundant category if you want to remove it you have a method called remove unused categories right now that additional missing category is gone from this list yeah next you can also remove an existing category amongst these four categories if you want to remove say the d category here you can remove that as well wherever d occurs it will now be shown as a missing value finally you can also have intrinsic ordering within your categorical variables for instance by setting ordered equal to true by setting this particular attribute ordered equal to true you create an intrinsic ordering to that categories of your variable here by default in the order in which it is occurring a is lesser than b b is lesser than c so this is the intrinsic ordering if you want to change the order of this ordering also that is also possible this one shows the different codes of these variables right this variable a b c a it is actually stored internally in this format 0 1 2 0 these are the different codes now if you want to change the intrinsic order suppose if you want to have c greater than b and a lesser than b right if that is the case if you, if you want to have that ordering you need to use reorder categories pass in the new order in this fashion set order equal to true that will do the job right now when you try to sort this categorical variable it will be sorted based on this intrinsic ordering only since c is greater than b and b is greater than a and a is the lowest one it is sorted in this order if you set ascending equal to false it will reverse the order so those are the different concepts you need to know about when you are working with categorical data